was Friday night because, I, you know, again, I'm not watching Paul George as closely as you are, but I'm I, I, watching him next question, the question that was asked of him about dunking on the Blazers with no time left, and then you asking questions of Russell before that, and him essentially asking Westbrook for permission, essentially, to answer on his behalf. That kind of caught me off guard that is Paul George now being taken down this path by his teammate, and and will that be somehow a problem for the franchise? Well, it's a great question, and you're exactly right. Friday night, I think, was the tipping point because that was an awful look. Paul George has a pretty good reputation around the league, pretty accommodating, affable guy, uh, pretty solid. And he seemed to jump on the Westbrook train that night. And it did not go across good with anybody that I know, fans, media, league members. When Steve Kerr comes out and says, hey, this isn't good, this is a problem, I I think it's reached the point where something had to give. And something did give. Russell on Sunday did not say, next question. Now, he didn't answer my question, but he moved off of high center and he – when people asked me about it, I said, I just appreciated his tone. He wasn't surly. He wasn't combative. He just sort of talked in a normal voice when he didn't answer my questions. And to me, that's progress. So, you know, maybe maybe things will improve. We'll see. All right. Well, um, last question for you on this front before we move to um... – to Kyler Murray and, and the draft, Barry Trammell of the Oklahoman here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, Bill Simmons is one of many observers out there thinking that the the Thunder might be better off parting ways with Russell Westbrook and sending him elsewhere and rebuilding from scratch. What do you think? That would be a uh, an interesting concept. I just can't imagine him doing it because of what Russell has meant to the franchise in the wake of Kevin Durant leaving. Um, Durant left on July 4th, 19, I mean, uh, 2016. And I can't express to you the mood of that day when the news came about 1045 in the morning. And frankly, July 4th hasn't been the same since. Every July 4th is supposed to be everybody's favorite day. Celebration, fun, go to the lake, go to the beach. Have a, have a parade. Have a party. Oklahomans sort of light a candle and say, this was the day the music died. <laughs> and for Russell Westbrook to, to sort of take up the flag and say, you know what, we're going to keep marching on, was such an, an amazing decision on by Westbrook. I think it would be very tough for this franchise to, to make that decision. Bill Simmons is right. Russell's going to be 31 next year. His game is in decline. Still a wonderful player, but his game is in decline. His contract is going through the roof. It's it's going to be an albatross very soon if it's not already. So business-wise, yes, that's the best thing to do. Emotionally, I just can't see the thunder pulling that trigger. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.